Oh, hello. Welcome to Extra Extravaganza. It's all about backstage, fun, bits of glitch, the glam. Oh, jeez, actually, I better go up there. Next, see what happens. Uh, oh, yeah, what you can do while I'm doing this is you can actually see why some of our celebrity models want to take part in this. Okay, enough messing. Why are you taking part in Fashion Extravaganza 2009? Main reason is because Joan Brosnan Walsh, she was a member of the cast of Fair City and had to leave last year. She was diagnosed with motor neurons disease in January 2008. Stephen contacted me after I did The Apprentice last year and he asked if I wanted to do it. And to be honest, a really good friend of mine's um, mum passed away with motor neuron last year. And another really good friend of mine's dad is actually in the hospice in Harold's Cross at the moment with motor neurons. So it definitely kind of was hit home for me. And then diabetes is such a big um, illness at the moment. Like something like 60% of Irish people suffer from diabetes or something crazy. I, don't know, I could be wrong, so don't quote me. So I thought it was a great chance to get involved. Impressed? Very impressed. I like it. Now, but to be honest with you, I've, I've got a question here, right? Yeah. I came up with something earlier myself, right? Now, what you have here is one roof. So, if, let's say, I was to take the roof off this house yeah. and move it over this way, would that be possible? Oh, it would be possible, yeah. Yeah? Would you just actually fail the first time? What, what was we? Off the site. Okay. Off the site. This is the second show they kicked me off. I'm taking part in the fashion extravaganza for one reason, and that is the Irish Diabetes Foundation. Um, I think it's a brilliant charity and my own father suffered with diabetes and he passed away a couple of years ago and um, his uh, diabetes was kind of the start of illnesses that he had throughout his life and were probably one of the main causes of heart disease and then a heart attack and uh, eventually heart failure so I, I feel very strongly that diabetes can be stopped um, uh, the, the onset of diabetes can be stopped at a very young age. I think awareness of that is crucial. Our diets are getting worse, our lifestyle is worse. We have better technology, we have better hospitals, everything around us is better. But we have to start now looking at what we're eating, looking at the amount of exercise we take, and really hammering this home to children. Otherwise, it's going to become an epidemic, and it's going to become an epidemic within our lifetime. And it is something that can be stopped. Let's just see if we can actually catch some of the momentum. It should be fun. Yes, I mean. Sneak, sneak. My muscles are going to sneak. He's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to do it. He's and her personal assistant. Honestly, you're not going to be. She's a very pretty personal assistant. Can we go and have a look? Can we go and have a look? No, 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 no
Oh, four D. Neo. Four D. AD. Steady. FX. Belts. Ando. No? Okay. <laughs> We're supposed to leave the tags on because the clothes have to oh, go yeah, back. Yeah, apparently they have all to go back. Yeah. But, um, so the house is going to walk down with a tag on his back. Look. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the yoga. I'm dumb. You're hanging up for Christmas. You know what? You know what I learned from reality TV? Smile with your eyes and everything's fine. Oh.